I wanted you to see quickly my husband, John. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm having a ha bad hair day, but uh, really excited for Cindy and for you guys because you're going to learn so much. She's awesome. <laughs> Love her. Aw, thanks, babe. <laughs> Um, if you're watching this, thank you for coming back. <laughs> um, this is Cindy Kraus with Kraus House Sift and Thrift. And um, just to recap, uh, I've been selling on eBay since 2001. And I started this channel so I could just um, help other eBayers. So that's the gist of it. Um, I've been starting by reading questions that I found on YouTube that people had. So I just thought I would start answering some questions. Um, one of them that I read is, I'm thinking about starting an eBay business. Where do I start? Well, just type in eBay in your search engine and um, you'll see right there, you know, plus you'll have to log in, you know, pick a username, password, that type of thing. And then um, eBay will want you to pick a username for um, eBay. And then, you know, you just follow the prompts and it's very simple. And then once you're signed up, you just click on the sell button and start selling. And of course you could buy as well. Um, so you just click on the search bar, whatever you're looking for. And it's very simple. It's very self-explanatory once you go to their website. So I don't see anyone having an issue with any of that. The other one is how do I know if eBay is legit? Well, if you t go to the Better Business Business Bureau, that's a tongue twister, uh, I believe it's bbb.org, you could type in eBay and it'll tell you all about it. In fact, I was looking at this earlier, so I'm just going to type this in again. Okay, it's already on my screen. Um, and it just says eBay Inc. And it's based out of San Jose and it has customer uh, reviews. Then it has the BB, B rating and accreditation is A plus. So that's pretty darn good. You can't get better than A plus. <laughs> so for me, just reading that, it's like, uh, yeah, I think the company's legit and I don't think I'll have a problem doing business with them. So uh, they've been in, accredited since 9-1-1998 and been in the business 26 years. So. That should answer that question. Um, and that's what I do when I, you know, I don't know if a business is legitimate. Um, I just go to the Better Business Bureau and I just type it in and it'll tell you everything you need to know. And then I'll go back to my questions. And um, so pretty much, and then another one is how do I sell on eBay for the first time? And I've already um, addressed that, but um, yeah, just, go to the website, you could read about them, you could do your research, you could look at other sellers, see what they're selling, you could look at feedback. Um, just, you know, if you're not sure about it, just go do research. That's what I do for a lot of things. Before I started this YouTube video, I've been watching YouTube videos for the past two weeks um, before I started filming my first video because I wanted to have all the knowledge I needed before I start on something didn't want to just jump into it and just like make all these mistakes, which I'm sure I'm making mistakes even now. <laughs> but I want to be armed with as much knowledge as possible. So, you know, if you're not sure, just start researching it, you know, just saying, what do other people do? Start asking questions about people. Um, you can even ask sellers questions. Um, or you could just try it out. I mean, I try it out. If you don't like it, you can... Um, you don't have to ever sell again if you don't want, but I just think just be as armed as with n much knowledge as possible. And that's part of what I'm doing here. I would like to arm you with knowledge. So, um, you know, like I said, I've had 20 years of experience. I've learned a lot. I still have a lot to learn. I may not know the answer to every question, but if I could help at least one person, um, 
start a career on eBay and do well, then my job is done. <laughs> um, another question is, what do I sell on eBay? Oh, wow. <laughs> Almost everything. <laughs> um, of course, they have things you cannot sell. Um, you know, you can't sell guns. Uh, you can't sell um, some medical devices. Um, you know, there's a long list. Um, I could just type that in because I've seen the list before, but... Um, okay, policies on restricted prohibited items. And... Oh yeah, you can't do uh, sell alcohol or animal wildlife products. Um, you know, there's only certain art you could sell. Food, you know, they have a policy on every single thing actually. <laughs> Take too long to read through all of those for you. But yeah, you could just do what I just typed. What can't you sell on eBay? And it tells you prohibited and restrictive items. So, you know, whenever I've had a question about something on eBay, I just type it in Google or DuckDuckGo and um, boom. There's my answer. I'm still doing that. It's like, gosh, I was, I just got this new, um, I, my uh, username through eBay was uh, the Krause House. My husband's, um, my last name is Krause and house is the German house, H-A-U-S. And my husband used to live in Germany in the Air Force. Um, so he's the one who gave me that name. But then I was thinking, well, what could I do for my YouTube channel? I kind of want something that kind of tells people what I do. And so he just came up with a name and I was thinking, I think I couldn't think of anything. And that's not like me, I'm a writer. So I usually think of things quickly, um, but I just couldn't think of anything. So he just said, Krause House Sift and Thrift. I'm like, oh my gosh, Eureka. <laughs> that says what I do. I mean, you know, sifting through clothes or items to sell and you know, while you're thrifting. So, um, and it's cute and catchy and nobody else had it. So I'm like, yay. So I just got a new domain name, Krause House Sift and Thrift through GoDaddy. I would recommend GoDaddy to anybody. They have the best prices. Their customer service is amazing. And someday I'm hoping they'll be my sponsor <laughs> because I love them and I will tell anybody about them. Um, and it was just very easy and inexpensive to get domain names with them. I've gotten about five or six from them. So anyway, I got my new domain name, but it wasn't showing up on Google. And so I had to call them a couple of times. They said, well, it's not on our end, it's Google's end because they don't know your name yet. So, um, you know, you gotta keep typing it in. Well, then it still wasn't showing up. So I called them back and they said, well, you gotta clear your cache. So I did, and so now it's showing up. But anyway, on eBay, I typed in Krause House Sift and Thrift. And um, I have an eBay store. Anyway, that's the name of my store. And I changed my name, but the URL is still saying the Krause House. So, I'm like Googling, how do you do that? And actually, I'm still looking for the answer. I kind of found out, but I don't know. I think maybe it changes over time. I'm not sure. But, you know, these are the things that we can find out together. You know, I'll, I'll research that and I'll let you know what happens with that. And then, hey, maybe I would have helped you, saved you the time of Googling or spending all this time. I just give you the answer and you know. <laughs> so we could do this together. Um, and then go back to the questions. Okay, as far as what do you sell on eBay? Well, like I said, any almost anything. So the things I sell, I, I don't really have a niche on my main eBay website. I do on my other one. Um, but you know, the things I'm selling, I mean, I'm just selling electronics, sporting goods. My husband buys a lot of caps. So, you know, baseball caps, so I sell a lot of those t-shirts. Um, trying not to sell too many clothes, but I, you know, I do have some women's blouses and, and men's shirts, that kind of thing. Um, but you know, I do, I sell pots and pans. I mean, gosh, my inventory is right over here. I could look, I sell pottery. I sell pictures, um, camera lenses. I've sold cameras. I sell mugs, uh, ink toner, um, gosh, mixer, diapers, puzzles, toys, stuffed animals, um, I mean, gosh, you name it. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, breakables, you know, a lot of things that are, you know, cookie jars and gosh, 
anything in, you use in your kitchen or your home or gosh, I could go on and on. <laughs> um, I really, when I go to buy things, I buy something that calls to me that I, it's usually a couple of things. One thing that I look at it and looks appealing and looks like something I would want to own. Um, so it's either something that's like really cute or looks functional. Um, you know, so I sell two things. I sell things that people need, things that people want. So, you know, like collectibles and that kind of thing. You don't really need that, <laughs> but you, you know, it's, it's fun to have, you know, display on your shelf, that kind of thing. But, you know, I also sell like, you know, mixers or coffee makers or, you know, things in your kitchen that you actually do use and need. So that's what I like to do. And um, I just like the fact of rehoming items that, you know, somebody's going to buy this for me and they're going to use it and they're going to love it. And, um, you know, that's great. That's very satisfying. So, um, yeah, so I hope you could do that as well. Or if you are doing it, great. <laughs> Maybe I can help you do it better. <laughs> um, then another question is, what do I do after an item sells? Well, eBay will, eBay, slow down, Cindy. Uh, eBay will send you an email and they say, congratulations, your item sold, something like that. And then they will tell you what to do. So basically what you do at that point is you, you know, package up the item. If it's breakable, you better pack it very well. <laughs> I've had some horror stories about things that I've broken that I thought I packaged well, but I didn't. <laughs> so, um, and we, I'll go into that another time about, um, packaging up breakables, but, um, yeah, you pack it up very well and, you know, put in a poly bag or mailer or a box, you know, it could be priority, priority mail, first class, whatever it is. So then once you get it packaged up, you weigh it, you're going to have to have a scale. That's a must. So um, you could just buy that on eBay. That's what I did when I first started, just buy a regular postage scale. Now I have like a nicer one. But um, anyway, you're definitely going to need a postage scale. Um, that reminds me, I should tell you guys what you should do step by step, but I'll do that in the next video. Um, anyway, so you weigh your item. And then you package it up and then you get on eBay's website and, you know, you click on, um, you know, purchasing the label. So then you just type in the weight and, you know, if it's over a pound, you're going to want to say what the dimensions are. Um, so you're going to need a measuring tape as well. So you have to measure that. And then, you know, it's all self-explanatory. You know, I could show you the um, screen at another time, but, you know, just ship it off and then... Once they receive that, you know, they'll probably leave you positive feedback and you're on to the next. So uh, that's just very basic. But um, yeah, I just say almost anybody could do eBay. It's not difficult <laughs> or complicated. Um, it can be. I mean, there are some things to it. You're going to have to learn a lot of things, but at its very core, it's easy to do. Um, but yeah, there are some things you'll have to learn and that's what I'm here to hopefully educate you about. Um, yeah, so what do I do uh, after an item sells and when do you get paid? Well, um, used to get paid via PayPal, but now eBay has something called managed payments so people could pay multiple ways. And what um, eBay has now what they call payouts so uh, usually within a day or two after the item sells, they kind of put it, they set it aside so you'll have money for the shipping. And then what they'll do is they'll send you a payout to your bank. So for me, when I get an email from eBay, like let's say I got it today, I know I'm gonna get my money tomorrow, but it could take longer for some banks. So it'll just show up in my bank account. So, um, yeah, it's kind of nice. I'm kind of liking it. I didn't really like it at first because, uh, you know, PayPal was instant. <laughs> you instantly got your money. It was so nice. Give it on the weekends, whenever it was. And so this way you're only going to get paid Monday through Friday. But um, it's been kind of nice, actually. I really like it. Um, 
it's I'm getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's really nice is for returns, you just, um, eBay will take the money out of your payout. And if you don't have enough in your payout, they'll take it out of your bank, which I really like because I used to transfer most of my money from PayPal into my bank account. So then when somebody had a return, then I had to put money in there or sell something. Um, you know, it was just harder. So anyway, it's it's really nice that eBay has managed payments. So you will have to sign up for that as well. And that means you'll need to give them your you know, social and banking information and that type of thing. But you don't have to worry about that. It's safe. Um, and it's safe and secure. So I've never had any issues with giving out my banking information to eBay. So um, yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. You know, they've been doing this uh, what did I read? 26 years? <laughs> Something like that. So, uh, yeah, you, they're definitely a corporation you can trust. And, um, and when do you get paid? Well, it's kind of what I was saying. Uh, once the item sells and the buyer pays, then eBay will send you the payout within a couple days. And then it'll just depend how long it takes the bank to get to you. So it could take three to four days, something like that, or two to th four days. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, it's really nice. I, I love getting my little payout. So it's like I get paid Monday through Friday. <laughs> and it's, yeah, no, it's not a big lump sum like a paycheck, but it's nice and um, I'm really enjoying it. So anyway, let me see if there's any more. Um, how do you contact eBay? Well, uh, I get on their website and there is a help. You could click on help and it tells you all the ways you can contact them. Um, a lot of times they want you to, uh, yeah, they ask you a bunch of questions like, what is it regarding? Is it regarding selling or um, a buyer issue, a seller issue? You know, they have all kinds of categories. And then you could you can get help by reading their FAQs, frequently asked questions, or by asking the community. Um, I don't know how they have it set up now. I used to be able to email them. I'm not sure about that, but what I usually do is call them. So you call them. You could either call them and wait on hold, or you can have them call you. And I like that better because sometimes you're waiting 20 minutes or <laughs> longer, and they just call you back when they're free. So that's really nice. So I'll go into that more in another time because there's kind of more to that. But um, yeah, that's I and I really like their customer service. I've never had a problem with them. They've been very helpful. So um, once you get a hold of somebody, <laughs> yeah, you should be able to get your questions answered. So that's all I'm gonna address today. I'm trying to keep this video short and um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. It's a beautiful sunny day here. So whatever your weather's like there, I hope you're still enjoying your day. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed my second video. I was looking at it. I was realizing that I kind of said um or uh a lot. <laughs> Please excuse me. I'm trying to get better. My husband told me that he heard from somebody that if you're Starting to say um or uh in sentences, what you should do instead is pause. So I think that's a good tip for all of us, um, especially those of us who say uh, ah, uh, you know, like, you know, any kind of repetitive speech. I think that's a good tip. And I'm going to try and put that to practice myself. The other thing I wanted to say is I've been forgetting to ask you guys to comment if you have a comment, if you have a question or a comment, great. Um, if you could give me a thumbs up, if you like the content, I would really appreciate it. That would really help me out a lot. And also the other thing is to subscribe to my channel. So when you subscribe, you could also hit notifications. So you'll get notified when I put out new videos. So if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. Um, if not, I'm just appreciative of you even watching this. <laughs> and the last thing I wanted to say is I finally got my new equipment. It's kind of a newbie beginner's kit. I got like a ring light and a tripod. So, hey, 
<laughs> getting better. You should have seen what I had before. I had this like little makeshift kind of tripod with like a suction cup and it kept falling. And <laughs> so I feel like I'm moving up in the world at least a little bit. And so anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.